What's up guys, Head here and in this video I'm going to be showing you a license manager or license management tool I have created for managing my software licenses. So basically licenses for my own software. And you might remember the PHP license management system. But the difference here is, is this one is written in C Sharp and it doesn't require a basically a server to run the PHP files on so it's a lot faster to use this one instead of my old one but I haven't added all the features from my PHP one yet to this one like generating serials yeah basically that's the only one with missing compared to the PHP one so yeah I'm gonna quickly show you uh, uh, what it can do and how it works so I can load up all the uh, users, I can see their username, password hash, HVID hash, serial key which they use to activate it, uh, to activate my program, and the expiration date, and I can also see the IDs, and what I can do now is, for example, click on one and then I can go del um, edit, not delete, edit, and I can see everything once again, but I can change it for example, change the expiration date, click save, and then sync the changes, and then they're synced. What I can also do, I can click create, and I can create another user. Some Imagine this to be some password hash, and there's some HVID, and this is his uh, serial, so yeah. And some expiration date like the 12 12 16 and then hit save and now you can see it doesn't have an ID because it has to be synced once again so I could do it on auto sync but I don't want to auto sync it just in case I make some mistakes I don't want to the changes to be already uh, synchronized let's go to the serials page here I can load up all the serials that exist for my software and they're blurred out so nobody can use them because I don't want anybody to get a free serial for the software and I could also add generation so a serial code generation but I didn't do that yet so I still do that over PHP and last we got a lock it displays just in as in the PHP all the lock uh, data from the last 20 results so we go 818 to 799 and I can see once again the status so if it was a login or logout if it was successful there are also errors showing up I can see the username which was used to log in I can see the HVID so I can see if somebody tries to share the license and I can see the IP which you can see because I don't want you to see it uh, once again to see if somebody tries to sell or yeah, tries to access from another country, for example. It obviously, it could be a proxy, but also it could be license sharing. And if you don't want that, you want to uh, make sure that you take notice of that. And then you could uh, tell the person. So, yeah, and we got the date and time when somebody registered. Obviously, the only problem here is that it gets uh, the date and time from the internet but the the server I get it from it always uh, basically adapts to the origin of the user so the time always looks different like here we have p.m. and here we have regular so my time time what it's called yeah so you don't have 12 hours we have 24 hours and this is the only matter, but I'm going to set up my own one, so I always get my server time. And it's also easy for me to just look at my time, not uh, their time. So yeah, I can also delete them, and delete these ones too, and delete here too, so I'm gonna uh, delete the new user. And there we go, once again sync, and it's disappeared. So yeah, I thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. Peace out.